our American racing fans, global racing fans. We're here at Sonoma Raceway to find out the beginning of a number of bold experiments. Here at Sonoma, World Touring Cars, the Maserati World Series, and AutoGP Formula Racing. Our American fans interested in international racing. The series has come over to this track to show American fans what it's all about. And it's gonna be interesting to see how this will work. Is it gonna be marketed as NASCAR lights or stand on its own? Do the fans know what's going on? My fear, they think WTCC is just another wrestling competition. Let's go take a look at what happened to bring this series here and what's about to happen over this weekend. I think anywhere there's tarmac, grass, gravel, curb, anything that we can use and we get grip on, we'll use it. inside the WTCC has got to be the closeness of the racing you know we've got 25 cars sprint races 13 laps everyone's held forever 120 percent fully committed cars are sliding cars are moving not necessarily on their own sometimes with a bit of help you know there, there's no respite at all it's flat out full power everything's going for it Ah, it's absolutely great, you know, uh, for us and for me, yes, to be to be here in, uh, in California. I had never been to California before. I knew uh, Road Atlanta, so the other side of the country, but not uh, this place. And it's great. Everybody is uh, it's very friendly. You know, the people are really nice, and the weather is good. So. Any surprises to the track? This track is uh, is nice. Surprise, uh, not really. Um, but okay, I did not know it. But it's a track where. It's what happened to me in qualifying, you know, if you do a very good lap without any mistake, then you are, you are quick. Uh, I think for the race it's going to be quite tough because uh, the track gets dirty with people going off and the tyres will suffer a lot, you know, uh, for the second half of the race. So it's going to be a tough one. We've had our eye on a, uh, something like the World Touring Car that it really brings some international flavor. And the format was, as we got to know the, the series, just perfect for the short attention span mindset of the, uh, you know, the American consumer, the world consumer these days. The, the series is here this year as the first part of a three-year agreement. And it's really our responsibility in the first year of this is to introduce fans to a series that they're not familiar with. And I think that once people see the action, see the, the sort of pacing, this is going to prove to be very popular. But it's going to take two or three years to really fully introduce it. We don't even know who the target audience is yet. We know, we know that we have tens of thousands of people who are fans, who come to our races, who follow us on social media, who are engaged in what's going on at the track. We know that we have NASCAR fans that love that full body contact, that uh, they're really mixing it up, trading paint of NASCAR. We know that we have fans who love the sort of exotic, glamorous uh, atmosphere of the IndyCar. We think that this series brings both and really fuses those two qualities. Uh, rolling start for race one. Race two is a completely different story. The fastest cars are going to be starting 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th in reverse order. So uh, standing start, we're front wheel drive. We've got four BMWs going to be on the first four positions. They're going to get a hell of a start, big launches. Um, so yeah, and then, you know, those guys aren't quite as quick as us, certainly for the first half of the race. So there's going to be uh, some tight, close racing going on. You're going to see some big lunges, big dives up the inside. There's going to be dust, dirt and gravel flying everywhere. It's going to be carnage. It's one thing to want to race in America. It's another thing how you race in America. And it starts with containers. The FIA provides the money and two containers for every team for the three series that came over from Europe. WTCC, AutoGP, and the Maserati World Series. The cars are shipped separately, but spare cars are in these containers as well. The parts, the tools, the equipment, the computers, the chef's kitchen, everything you need to be a race team. The logistics of this series are, are mind-numbing, and it's been great for us to watch it, and I'm very glad that they're in charge of that because uh, it's very, very complicated. And over the last 10 days, we've been able to sit in our office and watch these containers arrive in a parade of trucks and land in the paddock and watch this whole show unfold. 
I think the cruise is the best race car purely because it's so consistent. Every circuit we go to is very adaptable, very drivable. Um, you know, it's got the best tire management of the front wheel drive cars. We're 60 kilos heavier than anyone else here. That's because we've been so successful. It's a bit like horse racing. The faster you go, the more penalty you get. We're the heaviest cars. It's going to be tough for us, but we'll do the best show we can. Three cars, team orders. No team orders with Chevrolet. Uh, simple, just look after each other. Don't hit each other, don't take each other out. Racing, we're free to race, just make it clean. So red paint on the fender's okay, blue paint is not approved. That's it, light blue's not approved. Any other color, crack, crack on, you're fine. The first weekend of World Touring Car, Global Racing in the US is upon us, it's happening now. And the fans that have shown up are in for a treat and they're learning this is very, very cool racing. But that's really the bottom line for this experience. If it's going to succeed in the next three years, promotion and education. Everyone needs to take an active role to show these people what this racing is all about. And maybe the last one, open-mindedness. This is more than NASCAR light. This is not some effete European thing. This is great racing, great car technology. The manufacturers, the fans need to embrace this. It'll all be good. Let's shake down. I'm waiting for the next lap. Or the last guy. <laughs>